Good morning, I'm Teresa with the Clayton County Farm Bureau. I'm here at the Lovejoy Library and we're going to talk a little bit about pumpkins before I get started the carving him. You can see I've already drawn his face on with a sharpie. Mouth is a little bit crooked, but that's what Halloween is about. We try to put all kinds of funny faces and do our own thing and his just happened to come out with a little bit of a crooked smile, but we're going to do our best. Um, first of all, a lot of people don't know that the pumpkin is a fruit. Uh, they average on about 500 seeds uh, that they produce. Uh, the largest known pumpkin that's ever been grown weighed over 2,300 pounds by someone in Switzerland. They're at least 90% water. They're part of the squash or the gourd family. And if you want to get your pumpkin at a good size by Halloween or Thanksgiving, you need to plant them around May through June. So we'll get started and start carving our pumpkin. Okay, so now we are going to start carving our pumpkin. Uh, we have drawn a little face on there to guide us. Uh, this pumpkin has a lot of, uh, I call them warts, but I'm sure there's another name for them. They're, they're, it's bumpy. Um, so we did also bring a couple of sharp knives. Uh, so make sure you have an adult uh, that helps you with cutting. Uh, we got some spoons to scrape. We have a bowl for our seeds and some paper towels. So we'll get started. We're going to first start by just cutting a little hole in the top, uh, probably about an inch and a half in diameter. You can adjust that as you go along. So now we've just about got the top off. You can see how stringy our pumpkin is. Let me hold it up so you can see. That's what we got to scoop out. So, start scooping. I'm going to put my top to the side for right now. Let him rest over there. And don't feel bad about sticking your hands in there and just pulling those strings out and kind of carving the sides a little bit. Because that's what I'm about to do. Seeds are also good for roasting, um, especially if you put a little garlic salt on them and some olive oil. You can freeze the pumpkin if you want to save it for, uh, as long as you're not, um, you know, going to leave it outside too long. But whatever you cut out, you can freeze for pumpkin pies for later on with your holidays. Okay, so we finished carving the inside and got out as much seed and the string and pumpkin as we uh, can at this point. So now we're going to start carving the pumpkin, uh, his face, beginning with the eyes. And I just am doing just a regular little triangle. Some people want to get a little more crafty. And that is fine. You make it your own pumpkin. So we finished our pumpkin carving. I understand they're going to put a light in them after a while to make them glow and smell pretty. Um, if you're interested in more pumpkin ideas, more pumpkin crafts, uh, feel free to check out your Lovejoy library and thank you.